Well, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're not asleep yet. You only got one more political speech after mine, and then you're fine. You're in the clear. Um, my name is Corey Stewart. I'm uh, currently the chairman of the Board of County Supervisors of Prince William County. That's uh, uh, we're 450,000 residents, and we have a direct election uh, for the chairman. And I've been uh, elected and re-elected four times now in Prince William. Before I begin, I did want to introduce uh, my wife of 22 years, uh, my wife Maria, sitting right there. And uh, unlike four years ago when I was running for lieutenant governor, um, our boys are a little bit bigger now. They're 17 and 15 years old. Uh, so it does give us a chance to uh, move around a little bit more uh, together uh, around Virginia. When I became chairman of the board in Prince William County, we knew we had some economic challenges. And one of the things that I've always believed is that government is never the answer. It is really the answer is with you. It's with the business community. You are the ones who ultimately create the economic growth, the jobs that ultimately improve the quality of lives for all Virginia residents. So we came across with this policy, and this is it. One, it is the role of government first to provide a positive tax environment uh, for businesses, including all businesses, small businesses and, and large ones. Second, we wanted streamlined regulations on businesses. And third, and, and perhaps the most important function of government there, is to provide the necessary infrastructure and public services uh, to our businesses and to our residents. So in 2006, we began a policy. We knew we had some economic tough times ahead. We used that time to put in place positive changes to our economy and the role of government in Prince William County. We cut our base budget by $250 million, and we began to uh, target our spending in the county on the core public services of public safety, education, and transportation. In fact, Prince William County has the number one transportation uh, capital improvements program. It's even larger than Fairfax for road construction. We've had it since 1988. And we've invested in the past uh, four years alone more than $1 billion between the state and the local funding uh, into our roadways in, in Prince William County. We also streamlined our business regulations. We met together with the business community over the course of several meetings, and over the, since 2007, we have cut in half, cut in half, the amount of time that it takes a business to expand or to, to, or, or to be established in Prince William County. So what has been the result of this? Since then, Prince William County has been, has been ranked by CNN and the Bureau of Labor Statistics as number one in job growth in the Commonwealth of Virginia and number three in the United States. Our per household income has risen now to almost $100,000 and we are on the path for even continued economic growth despite some headwinds that we have faced in Prince William County. We have been upgraded to a triple, triple A bond rating status in Prince William County, which only 0.4% of all localities in the United States are able to achieve. So that's been my story. And with my business background, a little bit of that, I'm an international trade attorney. I was with Foley and Lardner in DC until 2009, and then I split off uh, to create my own practice uh, since then. It's been a lot of work. And as some of you know, I did chair uh, for the last 10 months of the campaign, or uh, until October, when I found out that I was actually a, a cast member of The Apprentice. Um, uh, but uh, we, <laughs> that's an inside joke, some of you get it. Uh, but I was working for the Trump campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. And the problem is, is that while North Carolina has been working hard and diligently to improve the business climate. Virginia has not done so. In 2013, North Carolina had a top income tax rate of 7.75%. Today, it's 5.49%. They had a corporate income tax rate of 6.9%. Today, it's 4%, with plans to drive it even lower. This has not resulted in budget deficits in North Carolina. Instead, it's resulted in economic boom, an economic boom that's been good for the jobs and, the, and businesses in North Carolina and ultimately for its residents because they've generated not, economic, not budget deficits, but budget surpluses. 
North Carolina is eating our lunch. And if we don't respond, it's going to get worse. We've got to stop the bloodletting of jobs leaching from Virginia to North Carolina, to Texas, and, and overseas. We can do this. We can do this in Virginia. Now, one thing that we have to do, uh, we've got to reform our community college system. It's got to be more responsive to the business needs of our community. And by the way, I'm not, I'm not criticizing them because they know it themselves. In North Carolina and Texas and other states, those states provide through the community college system low cost, low cost, customized, short-term training. Not for degrees, but for credentials. This allows their businesses a competitive advantage over those in Virginia. It's not just a competitive advantage for our businesses, vis-a-vis -vis businesses in North Carolina and elsewhere, but it also makes the job of our economic development authorities across the state to compete uh, with those states. We have to continue to make transportation improvements. Now, I was just speaking with the Port, the, uh, port Authority here and uh, the Port of Virginia. 374,000 jobs in Virginia are linked to the Port of Virginia. That's almost 10% of the workforce of the Commonwealth. We're going to need to continue and, in fact, accelerate some of the investments in our port. That will continue to generate jobs. Other transportation improvements, not just in Northern Virginia, but throughout the state, are going to generate further economic growth. I-81 needs to be improved, it needs to be widened. But finally, the most important thing is, we need to pursue bold tax reform in the Commonwealth. Our corporate tax rate in the Commonwealth is 6%. It's one of the highest in the nation. Are we then surprised that, that companies choose not to locate in Virginia, but in other states that have lower tax rates on business? So at the end of the day, I'm aware that as governor of Virginia, as any elected official, that what we have to do is we have to work together with you, with the business community. Most importantly, we need to listen to you. And we not need just you just know, go out there and try to pinpoint specific businesses that we're going to bring back into the Commonwealth. But over the last 18 years, 69% of all job growth in the United States has been by small businesses, small businesses. And the job growth in Virginia is not just by small businesses, but it's by existing businesses. We're not going to turn things around in this state by traveling across the globe, trying to pinprick and cherry pick specific businesses that we're going to bring in. Instead, we have to improve the overall economic and business climate for Virginian businesses. So uh, thank you very much. I look forward to working with all of you as we make Virginia again number one in economic growth. Thank you all very much.